Our tale begins in 1937, at a time when the world was on the brink of an all-encompassing war. In the East, a storm was brewing, one that would engulf China and Japan in a conflict as significant and harrowing as the broader conflict of World War II. This was the Second Sino-Japanese War, a war that, for many, remains shrouded in the mists of history. The spark that ignited this war was an event known as the Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Near Beijing, on a night in early July, a skirmish between Chinese and Japanese troops escalated in a way that no one could have foreseen. This seemingly minor confrontation would become the catalyst for a war that would last eight long, brutal years. But why did this happen? To understand, we need to delve into the complex web of tensions that had been simmering between China and Japan for decades. Economic rivalries, territorial disputes, and ideological differences had created a volatile mix that was ready to explode. The Marco Polo Bridge incident was the flame that set it alight. This war, however, was not just about China and Japan. It was part of the larger tableau of World War II, interwoven with events happening across the globe. It was a conflict that would draw in nations from around the world and have far-reaching implications for the course of history. The Second Sino-Japanese War was a testament to the resilience of the Chinese people, their sacrifices, and their struggle for survival and dignity in the face of aggression and atrocity. It was a war marked by tremendous human cost, with millions of lives lost, cities razed to the ground, and a nation brought to its knees. Yet amidst the devastation there were also stories of heroism, of resistance, and of hope. These are the stories we will explore as we delve into the untold story of China's secret struggle in World War II. This was the spark that ignited a war of eight long, brutal years. The Marco Polo Bridge, a symbol of peace turned battleground, witnessed the commencement of a devastating war. Situated just outside Beijing, this age-old stone bridge became the epicenter of a conflict that would ripple far beyond its borders. On the night of July 7, 1937, a routine Japanese military exercise near the bridge took a turn for the worse. A Japanese soldier was reported missing, and the Japanese demanded to search the neighboring Wanping town. The Chinese refused, leading to a standoff. As the night wore on, tensions escalated. The missing soldier eventually turned up, but it was too late. Gunfire erupted, and by morning, the Marco Polo Bridge was a scene of carnage. This incident was more than just a local skirmish. It was a spark that ignited a powder keg of long-standing tensions between China and Japan. The Marco Polo Bridge incident became the catalyst for the full-scale Second Sino-Japanese War, marking the beginning of eight brutal years of conflict. China found itself thrust into a war on a scale it had never before encountered, a war that would test the resilience and fortitude of its people. This was not a war they sought, but it was a war they were determined to endure. What started as a skirmish at the Marco Polo Bridge escalated into a war that would engulf the entire nation. The cost of war is always high, and China paid a devastating price. The Second Sino-Japanese War, a brutal chapter in the annals of World War II, extracted a staggering human toll. Over 20 million Chinese lives were lost, both civilian and military. This staggering figure, though, fails to capture the full breadth of the human cost. Civilians bore the brunt of the conflict, their lives uprooted and shattered by the incessant bombings, the scorched earth tactics, the forced labor, and the unimaginable atrocities. Imagine entire cities decimated, families torn apart, livelihoods destroyed, and a generation marked by the scars of war. The soldiers, too, paid a high price. They were young men, full of dreams and aspirations, thrown into the vortex of a brutal conflict, their lives cut short or forever marked by the horrors they endured. They fought valiantly, their courage and resilience shining amidst the darkest of times. The human cost of the Second Sino-Japanese War transcended the physical. It seeped into the psyche of a nation, shaping China's collective memory and national identity. It was a war of survival, a test of the nation's resolve, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. Behind each number is a tale of individual suffering and national tragedy. These are the stories that remind us of the true cost of conflict, the stories that we must never forget. In the face of aggression, China fought back, not just for territory, but for national survival and dignity. This is the essence of what is known in China 
as the War of Resistance. At its core, this struggle was about a nation's desperate bid to preserve its sovereignty and its people's dignity amidst the onslaught of a powerful invader. The Chinese resistance was a manifestation of remarkable courage and resilience. It was a tale of ordinary individuals rising to the occasion and becoming extraordinary heroes. From the guerrilla fighters who used the rugged terrain to their advantage, to the common citizens who risked everything to aid the resistance, the spirit of defiance was palpable and unyielding. The Chinese forces, though outmatched in terms of technology and weaponry, leveraged their intimate knowledge of the terrain and their indomitable will to fight. They employed unconventional warfare tactics, striking at the heart of the Japanese forces, and then melting away into the vast Chinese landscape. This was not just a military campaign, it was a people's war. The Chinese people, from all walks of life, rallied together, uniting against a common enemy. Their resistance was a testament to their unwavering spirit and their deep love for their homeland. The war of resistance was not just a battle, but a fight for survival and dignity. It was a profound statement of a nation's will to resist, to endure, and ultimately to triumph over adversity. The war was marred by horrific war crimes that left deep scars on the Chinese people. Japanese forces, driven by a twisted sense of superiority and a ruthless pursuit of power, unleashed a reign of terror on the Chinese populace. One of the most infamous events seared into the annals of history was the Rape of Nanking. In the winter of 1937, the city of Nanking fell to the Japanese Imperial Army. Over six torturous weeks, an estimated 300,000 Chinese civilians and disarmed soldiers were systematically murdered, while tens of thousands of women were subjected to unthinkable sexual violence. Japanese forces committed these atrocities with a chilling disregard for human life. This was not warfare. It was a deliberate campaign of dehumanization and extermination, violating every rule of war and humanity. The aftermath of these atrocities was devastating. Families were torn apart, communities shattered, and an entire nation bore the psychological scars of the terror inflicted upon them. The Chinese people were left with deep wounds that time has struggled to heal. The war crimes committed during this period were not just acts of violence, they were an assault on the very fabric of human dignity. The international community, in the aftermath of the war, held trials to bring those responsible to justice. Yet, despite these efforts, the sheer scale of the atrocities committed during this period remains hard to fathom. These atrocities remain a painful part of China's collective memory. The scars they left serve as a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the resilience of a nation determined to never forget. Amidst the chaos, China harbored secrets crucial to the Allied victory. As the Second Sino-Japanese War raged on, a hidden world of espionage, covert operations, and intelligence networks was in full swing. These clandestine efforts, largely unknown to the outside world, played a vital role in the course of the war. In the thick of the conflict, China's intelligence agencies were hard at work. They were deciphering enemy communications, infiltrating Japanese ranks, and feeding valuable information back to the Allies. These espionage activities were not just confined to the battlefield. They extended to diplomatic circles, science and technology sectors, and even cultural exchanges. China's covert operations were equally remarkable. From sabotage missions to guerrilla warfare, these secret operations disrupted Japanese supply lines, hampered their military operations, and sowed seeds of chaos in their ranks. These actions, though largely unsung, were instrumental in weakening the Japanese forces. One of the most notable of these covert operations was the work of the Dixie Mission. This American military mission, with the full support and cooperation of the Chinese government, established contacts with the Chinese Communist forces. They gathered intelligence, analyzed the political landscape, and even facilitated the rescue of downed American airmen. Moreover, China served as a vital conduit for intelligence sharing among the Allies. It was a hub where information from different theaters of war was collected, analyzed, and disseminated. This role was essential in coordinating the Allied response to Japanese aggression, ultimately tipping the scales in their favor. But the real heroes of these clandestine efforts were the ordinary Chinese people, men and women, young and old, 
risked their lives in the name of their country. They worked as spies, saboteurs, and informants, often under the most perilous conditions. Their sacrifices, largely untold, are a testament to their indomitable spirit and resilience. These untold stories of espionage and resilience have shaped the broader narrative of World War II. They shed light on a different facet of the war, one marked by subterfuge, courage, and an unwavering will to resist. China's secret struggle was not just a fight for survival, but a fight for dignity, justice, and freedom. Thank you for watching The Untold Story, China's Secret Struggle in Wu Wu II. We hope that this deep dive into hidden aspects of history has enlightened and intrigued you. If this video has piqued your interest, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps us bring more such untold stories to light. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on this video. Do you think there are other hidden aspects of World War II that deserve more attention? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Remember, history is full of hidden gems, and together we can uncover them one story at a time. So stay tuned for more untold stories from history. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep sharing the knowledge.